Nisa Frechette, Patrick Terrell, and Scott Culbertson. Hello, uh, we marked for the applicant. Um, I'd like to speak for two minutes and then Patrick will not speak. Is that okay? Sorry, what? We're friends of Ina Wetlands as part of the application. Oh, yes, and we yes, didn't get yes, to yes you can have two minutes. Okay. Yes, Thank go you. ahead. Hello, commissioners. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. My name is Nessa Frechette. I completed my undergraduate work at UC Davis in wildlife, fish, and conservation biology and received a Master of Natural Resources from Oregon State University while working for Friends of Bono Wetlands. As a manager of scientific programs that oversee our monitoring efforts, including wildlife and vegetation surveys, and work with our habitat restoration team, the Department of Fish and Wildlife, and other organizations to improve habitat conditions at the Bono Wetlands. We have been working in this particular area of the reserve since 2020 by removing non-native shrubs and weeds, which we do remove weeds on a regular basis. Uh, in 2021, through a partnership with LA Conservation Corps, we removed nearly 60 tons of non-native plants. Our monitoring on this progress so far has reduced non-native shrub and herbaceous cover in phase one of our project by 45%, 65% in phase two. Much of the non-native plant cover that remains is in the form of large trees, and we, that's what we're proposing to finish removing with this application. In order to replace, this, uh, replace these trees with native shrubs and trees, arroyo willow and cottonwood, uh, Freeman cottonwood and others. Uh, this project is to restore habitat for sensitive species that have nowhere else to go. Riparian habitat makes up a small portion of the ecological reserve, roughly only 15 acres. Nevertheless, high quality habitat that is present at the reserve currently supports annual nesting of riparian obligate species, such as the federally endangered Lee Spells vireo and the uh, species of special concern, yellow-breasted chat, as well as many other birds that are attracted to riparian habitat. 95% of riparian habitat has been lost in California. Restoring this riparian area will provide additional habitat for protected and sensitive species that desperately need it. We will increase biodiversity with this project by creating layers of complex riparian vegetation that would increase breeding site opportunities for wildlife. Removing these trees is the next step towards expanding habitat for wildlife uh, that have ever shrinking resources. And though owls are beautiful, they are uh, much more generalist nesters than the riparian birds we're trying to protect. Thank you. Great, thank you. Okay, Val, five more speakers, and then we're gonna be finished with public comment. Okay. Please proceed. Hi, I'm Scott Culbertson. I'm an applicant. Do I have a minute or two minutes? I don't need the full two. No, 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 she took your okay, time. Okay, awesome, that's fine, thank you. Thank you, no, 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 thank you. Oh. She took your time. But I don't have a minute. I'm Scott. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. One minute. Okay. Thank and you. then four four more speakers. Great. Thank Thanks. You. Good afternoon, commissioners. I'm Scott Culbertson, executive director of Friends of Bionna Wetlands. For the commissioners who might not know about the Friends, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about us. Friends were founded 44 years ago to supply with plans for to save Bionna from being developed. After a 25 year hard fought battle, the Friends won state purchase property saving in perpetuity. Today, the Friends are permitted by CDFW to operate education, restoration, and science programs. In the ecological reserve, our education program sees more than 7,000 students each year with a level specific standards based curriculum. Uh, approximately 70% of those students are come from underserved communities. Next year, we'll provide more than 40 bus scholarships. I'd like to reassure Cindy that we're, that we're still removing non native vegetation. Last year, we removed 31 tons of non native vegetation. I'd also think that it's worth pointing out that regarding the opposition to this CDP, it's worth noting that the primary opposition to this CDP has a history of litigation filing dozens of lawsuits over the past several years and both such settlements on their website. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, okay, 